Hey there! Are you ready for another brain workout today? Because I have 30 new riddles for you. I'll show you a pair of people for each one, and you'll have to decide which person doesn't behave wisely. You'll have 7 seconds per riddle to make your decision. Every right answer will award you 1 point. Ready? Grab a pencil and a piece of paper, and let's get started! Charlotte and Elizabeth are doing some homework. Charlotte is going to iron some clothes, and Elizabeth is about to cook. Who's not being smart? Elizabeth. Charlotte's safe because the iron is turned off. Lucas and Liam are going on a field trip with their kids. Lucas is distracted while his daughter is climbing a tree. Liam is talking to another parent while his son is petting a dog. Who is wrong? Lucas. The branch his daughter is climbing is cracking, and she is about to fall. Ava and Olivia are finally leaving home for their first night out after maternity leave. Ava decides to walk, and Olivia is waiting for a taxi. Who is not ready? Olivia. She forgot to finish her makeup. Michael and Logan are bloggers who take selfies in dangerous places. This time, Michael is taking a selfie while surfing on a huge wave, and Logan is taking one standing on the edge of a bridge. Who is not smart? Michael. In Logan's case, at least there are people around who can call emergency services if something goes wrong. Michael is alone. It's early morning. Ian and Nolan are driving their kids to school. Who is not smart? Nolan. His child is not in the car. Jackson and Emma are volunteering at an animal shelter. Jackson is feeding the cats, and Emma is washing the dogs. Who is wrong? Jackson. He gave the cats dog food by mistake. Scarlett and Ellie are going to bed. Scarlett kept her door open so her cat could enter during the night, while Ellie prefers to close her door. Who is not smart? Scarlett. You should always close your bedroom door at night. In case of fire, it'll stop the flames for a while and give you more time. Riley and Isabella are taking their kids to kindergarten. Riley is riding a bike with her daughter, and Isabella and her son are going by car. Who is wrong? Isabella. Her child isn't wearing a seatbelt. Lily and Oliver have job interviews at 4 o'clock. Lily is ironing her best suit, and Oliver is waiting in the hallway wearing jeans. Who's not getting the job today? Lily. She must have forgotten the time. The interview is in 5 minutes, and she's still at home. Sophia and Aiden are working in the garden. Sophia is watering the flowers while her cat is walking around. Aiden is mowing the lawn while his child is playing nearby. Who's not smart? Aiden. It's dangerous to use the lawnmower when children are close by. John and Brandon are making breakfast for their kids. John is making sandwiches, and Brandon is making eggs with bacon. Who is wrong? Brandon. He forgot to turn on the stove. Thomas and Abigail are going on a date. Thomas arrived a half an hour early and decided to buy some flowers. Abigail just returned from London and is driving to meet him. Who is wrong? Abigail. 
She's driving on the left side of the road. Ryan and Kaylee are having fun outside during their Christmas break. Ryan is learning how to skate on the lake, and Kaylee is skiing in the forest. Who is not smart? Ryan. The ice on the lake is cracking, and there's no one around to help him. Asher and Haley are enjoying their vacations. Asher is chilling at the beach, and Haley is climbing the highest mountain around. Who is not behaving wisely? Asher. Although Haley's activity is quite risky, she seems to be okay. But Asher fell asleep at the beach and is going to get a sunburn. Chloe and Avery are having some quality time on Friday. Chloe is reading a book, and Avery is watching a documentary. Who is missing something? Avery. She forgot to turn off the oven, and something's burning. Hannah and Maya are meeting their friends today. Hannah arrived by bike and is waiting for her friend by the house. Maya arrived by car, opened the doors, and is waiting for her friend to come down. Who is not smart? Maya. It's not safe to stay in the car with unlocked doors. A stranger can quickly get in the car and she wouldn't be able to do anything from the front seat. Mason and Jacob are going on a trip to the desert, where they'll spend a whole day. Who is not adequately prepared? Mason. The sun is powerful, and he's not wearing a hat. Emily and Madison are spending their time outdoors, but it's not their lucky day. Emily stumbled and fell in some mud. Madison was swinging but fell. Now, they both are getting up. Who made a mistake? Madison. The swing is still moving, and it may hit her head if she gets up. Aubrey and James are cleaning the house. Aubrey is listening to music while vacuuming the living room, and James is washing the windows. Who is not being smart? Aubrey. The vacuum cleaner isn't plugged in. Mia and Ethan are going on summer vacation. Mia is going to Greece, and Ethan is visiting his brother in Sydney. Who is not smart? Ethan. He's packed shorts and swimwear, but he won't need them because it's winter in Australia. Carter and Layla are in a hurry for work. Carter is walking while talking on his phone, and Layla is running while texting. Who's going to be late? Layla. She's looking at her phone and doesn't see the pit she's about to walk into. Leah and Aaron are driving to meet their friends. Leah has all of her things scattered in the car. And Aaron is traveling above the speed limit. Who is not smart? Leah. It's not safe to keep unprotected things inside the car. In case she stops suddenly, something can hit her very hard. William and Daniel are driving and are late for work. Who is wrong? Daniel, he's driving way above the speed limit in the neighborhood. Jane and Amelia are resting in the park after running 5 miles. Jane is eating, and Amelia is drinking water from the fountain. Who is not smart? Amelia, the warning sign says that the water isn't drinkable. Max and Ezra were driving around the desert and got stuck in the middle of nowhere. They burned a spare tire to produce some smoke. 
Max stayed close to the tire, and Ezra walked away in search of something helpful. Who is not smart? Ezra, you should never leave the vehicle. Chances are the rescuers will notice the smoke and find you. But if you go, you might miss them. Both Jonathan and Savannah didn't sleep well and are starting their morning. While Savannah is preparing some coffee, Jonathan is taking out the trash. Who is doing something wrong? Jonathan. Instead of the trash, he's taking out the old toys they collected to donate. Stella and Aurora didn't study for the test. One of them decided to try her best, and the other is planning to cheat. Can you spot who's cheating? Stella. She has a lot of bags surrounding her, so she must be trying to hide something. Miles and Cooper were walking in a park when a sudden storm erupted. Lightning struck a tree, and Miles decided to hide under it. Cooper entered a little shack nearby. Who is wrong? Miles. The belief that lightning never strikes in the same place twice is just a common misconception. An indoor shelter is one of the best places to hide. Leo and Melanie are preparing a barbecue party. Leo is cooking, and Melanie is decorating the yard. Who is not smart? Leo. While he's cooking, the meat is spoiling in the direct sun. Congrats! That's it for today. Now, sum up your points. If you got 10 points or less, you scored below average. Eh, don't be sad. It's just the beginning. You can check out some other riddles to train and prepare for the next round. If you got between 10 and 25 points, you scored average. Great! You're on the right way! And finally, if you got 26 points or more, you're in great intellectual shape. Here's an interactive medal from me and my admiration. Good for you! You're taken into a dark cave. Your mission is to escape without getting caught. Four different colored doors appear in front of you. A red one leads to an outer galaxy without a trace of oxygen. A yellow door leads you to a great white shark-infested water tank. A blue one leads to 66 million years ago, the time when a massive asteroid hit the Earth and made dinosaurs go extinct. And a purple door leads to a beautiful island filled with beaches and delicious food. On the wall, there's only one clue. It reads, pick the door that's not a primary color. You've got 10 seconds to open the right door. It's the purple door. Red, yellow, and blue are all primary colors, while purple is secondary. Plus, don't forget there's beaches and delicious food. You've managed to escape and now you're transported to the beautiful island. You find a citizen in need. He tells you his brother had been taken by an evil mathematician, and the only way to escape is to solve his riddle. You rush to the scene and arrive at precisely 3 p.m. There, the mathematician greets you with an angry look and a tricky riddle. If you calculate the height of my tower, you and my prisoner are free to go. If you fail, you'll stay here forever. I offer you three calculation methods to choose from. Multiple long sticks, your shadow, or the long rope hanging from the tower. I give you 9 seconds. Without even knowing the measurements of the sticks or the length of the rope, Even if they're the same height as the tower, you'd still not know the actual size of the building. The best option is your shadow. 
Knowing your height, you can compare how many times your shadow fits into the tower's shadow. Add them together, and you've just found the right answer. Now that you're safe and sound, you go to your hotel to get some rest. That's when the restaurant manager calls you for help. He left the dinner service, and his staff member said everything was quiet, so they closed up early. Before shutting down the restaurant, the manager asked them to send him a photo of the deserted restaurant. Uh, this is the photo I received. Everything seems empty, and it appears my staff members are truthful. But something seems off. Can you help me figure it out? You've got 8 seconds. It appears the image was photoshopped. The employees removed the people from the picture, but they forgot to erase someone's hand from the table. Right before walking upstairs to your room, the HR manager calls you into her office. She needs help with the job application she received for the receptionist position. She's looking for someone who is multilingual and narrowed it down to three applicants. But only one person is telling the truth. Sarah is from Belgium, and she speaks Dutch. Louise is from Switzerland, and she speaks Swedish. Marie is from Monte Carlo and speaks Italian. You've got 7 seconds to figure out who is truthful. It's Sarah. In Belgium, they do speak Dutch, French, and German. In Switzerland, they mainly speak German, and in Monte Carlo, French. Time to go to your room and get some rest. But uh-oh, the elevator you entered is a trap. It takes you to the hotel's basement, where three doors appear in front of you. The first door takes you to the Amazon rainforest, with green anacondas, electric eels, and poison dart frogs. The second takes you to the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the largest and most potent current globally. The third takes you to the top of Mauna Kea in Hawaii. It's the tallest mountain and largest volcano in the world that goes below sea level. Only one of them takes you to a safe place. Which one? You've got six seconds. Pick the third door. Mauna Kea is a dormant volcano, and it stopped erupting hundreds of thousands of years ago. So you're safe. You've made it out of the shady cave, and you need to go to your room. As soon as you enter, the lights go off, and you hear bars lowering to the floor and huge chains shaking. You use your arms to navigate around and come across dots on the wooden floor. You run your fingers through them. It's Braille. And it reads, One of the three magic mushrooms on this table will help you leave this place. Pick wisely. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in this dark room forever. The mushrooms on the left will make you super strong and provides healing powers. The one in the middle will bring the electricity back and you'll be able to see. The one on the right will make you small and invisible. You've got 5 seconds to pick the right mushroom. Turning the lights on won't free you. And becoming invisible doesn't mean you won't bump into walls. The best option is the strength and healing mushroom. You can bang on the walls and bars until you break them. The next day rolls around. You head into the parking lot to pick up your car. But the car seems to be locked. There's a three-digit pin code lock on the passenger side door. On the side of the device, you read a clue. ABC equals 123. On the ground, there's a piece of paper that reads BAD. Use the clue to find pin code numbers. Here are your four seconds. The code is 214. B is the second letter, A is the first, and D is the fourth. Now that you've got your car, time to do some shopping at the mall. You visit a jewelry shop. 
you discover it has a mysterious extension leading to a room filled with gold coins, diamonds, and other expensive metals. As soon as the owner spots you, he traps you in the room and locks the door. Nice shop. He tells you there's only one way to survive in that dark chamber. You must eat one muffin. If you eat the wrong one, you won't make it. But if you pick the right one, you'll be free to go. The first muffin turns you into moss. The second one turns you into a badger. The third muffin will turn you into a snake. Three seconds. Moss can't survive without the sun for long, and snakes need the sun to regulate their body's temperature. The correct answer is the muffin that turns you into a badger. These creatures spend long periods in the dark. The mayor of the town calls you into his office. He politely ignores the fact that you are now a badger. He says that something mysterious is going on inside one of the town's restaurants. Everyone has turned into a zombie. Only one human is left in the bar, and you must save them. But first, you have to identify them. You're shown a photo with three people. Only one of them is human. You've got three seconds. It's the lady on the right. It looks like the red spot on her shirt came from her hot dog. The lady on the left is missing part of her ear. Now the mayor takes you to the local school. The principal needs to decide which of the students deserves to go to space camp next summer. She picked all the students that got A's on their report cards and gave each of them a bean. She said, the person who will return with the tallest bean plant will win the prize. But you can't cheat. All kids came back with large plant pots and bean plants filled with smaller beans. Only one girl returned with a plant pot filled with soil. As soon as the principal saw her pot, he gave her the prize. Why? Here are your three seconds. The teacher gave them cold cooked beans. They couldn't have sprouted unless the students cheated. And these guys all got A's, huh? Makes you wonder. The mayor takes you with him on an investigation. A man named Martin had finished his veggie garden and invited his friends over for a party. Then his wife vanished. He called detectives, and there are three suspects in front of you. Steve said he was looking at the cherry tomatoes and picked one to try it. Donna said she was checking out the little squashes that had started growing. Martin said he was taking professional pictures of the flowers for his blog. You've got two seconds to determine who's lying. It's Martin. This was a veggie garden. It didn't have any flowers. Time for your last test. You're walking into an underground tomb. You must retrieve the treasure and make it out alive. As you walk deeper and deeper into the tomb, you come across a mysterious creature. He says, You must correctly answer my riddle. If you do, the treasure is yours. If you don't, you'll disappear forever. I'm not alive, but I can grow. I don't have lungs, but I need air to breathe. If water touches me, I cease to exist. What am I? Two seconds. The answer is fire. 